Governor Larry Hogan wants to stay in the state's top office today, kicking off his campaign for re-election less than three weeks before Marylanders go to the polls for the primaries. Kimberly Eaton is live with the growing race for the governor. Kimberly. And Amajoy, Governor Hogan is still the only Republican in the race, saying today he thinks his approval ratings are high enough that Marylanders, Marylanders should consider voting him in again. And an overwhelming majority of Democrats and independents and Republicans approve of the job that we're doing. So maybe they should just consider letting us continue to do this job for another four years. Just like that, the race is on. Governor Larry Hogan launching his campaign Saturday to keep the state's top office for four more years. Still the only Republican candidate for governor. If we can make all this progress while dealing with riots and battling cancer, just imagine what we're going to get done over the next four years. When Marylanders go to vote in the primaries later this month, there will be far more names on the Democratic ballot. The seven leading candidates went to the podium earlier this week for a 75-minute debate on WJZ Tuesday night, talking everything from fighting the opioid epidemic. I just had a hip replacement, and I, <laughs> I, I, asked, I asked for no opioids, and I got a prescription for 100 OxyContin. To the violence in Baltimore. Between me and my wife, we're able to, t we're able to count up to 10 of our students who we personally taught who have died in gun violence. What's going on in Baltimore City is not some foreign country. They also talked economic development. Now, again, a key platform in the Hogan campaign whose administration focused on boosting business during his first term. We pledged to put Maryland on a new path, to clean up the mess in Annapolis, to bring fiscal responsibility and common sense to our state capital. And now I know this doesn't usually happen in politics, but we're actually doing exactly what we said we were going to do. And the primary election is scheduled for June 26th. Reporting live, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ. Thanks, Kimberly. Stay with WJZ for updates about the candidates as the Maryland primary approaches. And remember, on June 26th, WJZ is your election connection.